Hi everybody, huge welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video all about what I put in my baby's plane bag. So this bag is specifically for going on an airplane, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be uh, what to put in a general traveling bag. If you were going traveling on any sort of journey for a long amount of time, these are the things that I would put in my bag. My son is 14 months old now, so it's a lot easier to travel with him now than it was last summer because you need a lot more bottles, a lot of, you know, sterilizing stuff and muslins and all of that and it is much easier now, but we do have the difficulty of keeping him entertained because he obviously gets bored a lot easier now. So we're going on holiday next week, we're going on a family holiday to Mallorca and the plane ride is about an hour and a half so I have packed his plane bag ready to go and here is what I've put in it. So I'll start with the two things that were the first things on my list when I was deciding what to put in this bag because I could not possibly go on a plane without them, we'd be lost without them and they are his comforts. So obviously if your child has any comfort you are going to want to put it in the bag. My son has his ratty, I mean it's absolutely filthy and it stinks but he adores his ratty so this will be coming with us. Also my son likes a dummy, he doesn't have a dummy all the time but it really does comfort him if he's upset or if he's tired so this is definitely coming with us as well. The second thing that I thought I absolutely have to put that in the bag was toys and I actually think for my son, it would be better if I put in new toys, just a couple of new things that are unfamiliar to him because he's just going to be more interested in them and they're going to keep him more engaged for a longer amount of time, hopefully. So I don't think I'll go mad, I'm just going to put in a couple of new toys for him that hopefully he'll be interested in and will keep him busy for a while. I had to be careful when picking the toys because I didn't want to pick a toy that makes noise or has buttons or anything because I don't want to annoy anyone around us. But yeah, toys and fiddly things are a must. So keeping on the theme of toys and keeping him entertained, if he's awake, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to sleep the whole time, but that might be a little bit um, optimistic. So he, my son loves books, so I thought we will definitely take a book. They keep him busy for quite a while. So I packed this book here, which is called Where's Mr. Lion? He loves this book because it has flaps. So I'm hoping that this might keep him happy if needs be for a few minutes. And also obviously books don't make any noise for the other passengers on the plane. So even though we are getting an evening flight and he probably technically won't be hungry because it will be his bedtime-ish, I did think I am going to pack some snacks just because he's a typical boy and if he's worked up or upset, snacks always calm him down, it's food is the way to his heart. So I thought I will put some snacks in there, but I'll put in some non-perishable snacks. So I wouldn't put in a banana or something for obvious reasons, but something like this, I think uh, is essential for me to take on the plane. And if we don't use them, we don't use them. He'll, he'll eat them on holiday anyway at some point. So I've just got a bag of goodies, carrot sticks, because they always go down well. Also definitely gonna pack his water bottle. Um, he uses the Tommy Tippy Sippy Cup. This is just the one that has suited him the best when I've been introducing him to different water bottles. So I'm gonna pack this one, ready to go, because he, he is quite a thirsty baby. He gets through about three or four cups of water a day. So I definitely want him to be drinking on the plane. This bottle's also not so bad for um, spilling or dripping. In fact, nothing's coming out when I do that. Um, as long as you've got this down, if this is up, it's gonna make a mess. So yeah, this is quite a good bottle for traveling with because I know I can put it in my bag and it's not gonna have any um, spillages. I'm also gonna bring one empty milk bottle. Um, because we've got an evening flight, I'm planning on filling this up with milk in the airport um, so that it's not, you know, been in my bag for too long, don't want it going, going funny. So I'm gonna fill it up with milk in the airport, take it onto the plane with us, and I'm gonna give it to him while we're taking off. When we traveled with him last year, we gave him a bottle during takeoff and it really helped um, with the pressure and the ear popping and everything. There was no screaming or anything when we took off. So I'm planning on doing the same this year. So yeah, if you're traveling with a baby, I would recommend if you're breastfeeding to feed them or bottle feeding when you take off because it really does seem to work and I will be doing it again this year. Also, when we were traveling with Leo last year, he was um, still on formula, and the air hostesses were really accommodating. They helped us make up the bottle, um, so don't worry too much about that because they will help you out when you get on the plane to make your bottle up. 
So the last few things, and probably the most important few things, are pretty obvious. Nappies, I'm gonna take maybe three. He will never need three, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Imagine if you needed one and you didn't have one. So I'll be taking a few of these. Nappy sacks, these are all Mania. Well, actually, I think the nappy was Tesco's own or Asda's own, but these are Aldi Mania. And obviously wipes as well. I'm going to change this pack for a new pack though because you can never have enough wipes and they run out pretty quickly. So definitely packing that. I'm also going to pack my own um, changing mat from my baby bag just because on the plane the changing tables on the plane aren't great and they don't come with changing mats. So I do recommend that you pack your own. And this one's great. This is a baby bow changing mat and it folds up tiny so it won't take up any room in my bag so definitely bringing this i'm just going to take my own backpack i'm not going to take my baby bag because it's really big and quite awkward to have on your shoulder backpacks are the easiest thing when you want to have your hands free like i will when i'm in the airport with a 14 month old so the backpacks are definitely the way to go and i'm just going to take my own there are special baby sort of changing backpacks out there but to be honest there's they're nothing really different to just a normal handbag apart from maybe having a few more compartments so i'd rather just take my own and then obviously i can use it during the holiday as well so there it is guys there are my baby plane bag essentials and what i will be personally taking with me when i go on holiday next week if you want to see what we get up to on holiday, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ellie Polly. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also, if you've got any other really good tips about things I should also add into my bag, please comment below because I'd really like to know. Don't forget to click subscribe before you go. I upload a couple of videos a week about all things motherhood, family, um, a bit of everything really. A lot of cleaning. I clean a lot. So yeah, don't forget to do that and I will see you guys next time. Bye.